Thank you, Joyce. And good morning, and thanks for making it through the liquid sunshine this morning to join us for this wonderful breakfast. I'm so excited to be here this morning to talk about diabetes, kidney disease, and the commitment that Northwest Kidney Centers makes each and every day to patients. Northwest Kidney Centers and so many of you have been more than welcoming during my few short months here. You've treated me like family, which is a big reason why I decided to join this team. For people living with kidney disease and their loved ones, especially those on dialysis, Northwest Kidney Centers does feel like family. You spend lots of time with us. You trust us. You put your life in our hands. And that's a big responsibility. As someone who, up until recently, knew this organization primarily by its stellar reputation, I can tell you that Northwest Kidney Centers is respected across the nation for how well it lives up to that responsibility, with integrity, with compassion, with leading edge innovation, and with a relentless commitment to excellence in patient care and to advocacy for the well-being of our entire community. Throughout my career, I've loved caring for people with kidney disease. They really inspire me. And as an educator of the next generation of kidney doctors, a researcher into new approaches to care, and an advocate for local and national public policies to support people with kidney disease, I know that if you get engaged, you can make a difference long term. And one of the best ways to make a difference in your own life is to understand the connection between kidney disease and diabetes. Nearly 30 million people in America today have diabetes. As many as one in three of those who develop type 2 adult onset diabetes will eventually suffer from kidney disease. And many will ultimately need dialysis or a kidney transplant. Every 24 hours, 130 people with diabetes begin treatment for kidney disease. And diabetes is the leading cause of kidney failure for patients starting dialysis in this country. So what causes diabetes, and what can we do about it? When you have diabetes, your body doesn't produce or respond to insulin normally, which leads to multiple metabolic complications, with the most significant effects being on the blood vessels in your kidney and other organs, including your heart, your eyes, and nerves, leading to blindness, heart attacks, amputations, and kidney failure. When the blood vessels, including the filtering units in your kidney, are injured, your kidneys can't clean your blood properly, and waste materials build up in the blood. That's part of how diabetes leads to kidney disease and its sequelae. But you can potentially decrease the chance of developing diabetes and kidney disease. How? Through diet, exercise, careful attention to what's going on with your body. A heart-healthy diet actually makes a difference. Eating more fruits and vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, limiting portion sizes and sugary foods, sitting less, moving more, doing some kind of physical exercise every day. National groups recommend exercising five times a week for 30 minutes to make a real difference and maintaining a healthy weight. Even five or 10 extra pounds can negatively affect your health. Get regular checkups with your doctor who can monitor for the warning signs of diabetes. Test your blood for signs of prediabetes and help you to take immediate steps to prevent it from developing into full-fledged diabetic disease. Control your blood pressure. High blood pressure in and of itself can lead to kidney disease and stop smoking. If you do develop type 2 diabetes that damages your kidneys, fortunately, Northwest Kidney Centers is here to help. Of course, we provide dialysis care. And thanks to donations from caring people like you, we offer nutrition counseling and cooking classes, free foot checks since the skin on the feet can break down when you have diabetes, and other special care for the unique issues that come with managing a double dose of chronic conditions, both diabetes and kidney disease. Your support also funds Northwest Kidney Center's expansive outreach into the community 
to help prevent diabetes and kidney problems. The connection between diabetes and kidney failure can be heartbreaking, but with the optimal care at Northwest Kidney Centers, it can also lead to triumph over challenges. Two of the patients I've been privileged to know exemplify both experiences. Ted was one of the most brittle diabetics I've ever cared for. His diabetes was so difficult to control that even though he watched his weight, took his medications, exercised, and did all the other right things, he suffered from seriously advanced chronic kidney disease. A Vietnam veteran who became a very successful restaurateur and a hugely generous supporter of many causes, Ted didn't like to talk about his diabetes or the wartime exposures that he believed led to it. He lived in denial as much as he could, but eventually he had to start dialysis. The new community he developed through his dialysis experience transformed Ted. He began to open up emotionally about his military experiences by sharing his stories and his feelings with others. He took control of his life and began to find hope rather than despair. As he moved past feelings of denial, he put himself on the transplant list and got a new kidney relatively quickly. The transplant enabled him to travel, to enjoy his restaurants and his community activism and even to revive his passion for racing cars. Another Vietnam veteran named Chuck also had hard to control diabetes stemming from his exposure to Agent Orange. Suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder, Chuck was full of anger and fear at every dialysis treatment. He had to bring someone with him just to calm his nerves. Gradually, as we talked through the steps he could take to live a fuller life and a more peaceful life, Chuck also sought out a transplant. Eventually, thanks to the care and compassion he received, Chuck was doing so well that he and his wife could fulfill their life's dream. They went to live in a nudist colony in Texas. <laughs> and he came back to get his medication with me in Portland every six months. The resilience, determination, and courage of people like Ted and Chuck inspire me every day. But frankly, I hope to run out of stories to tell. I hope my job and Northwest Kidney Centers are no longer necessary because research is underway right now in our own community at places like the Kidney Research Institute and maybe they will make dialysis obsolete. Someday, people with diabetes and kidney disease may get brand new kidneys that are artificial wearable, 3D printed, or implantable. It can happen, and it can happen in our lifetimes. There is always hope. I am so proud and grateful that I was given the opportunity to be a part of the Northwest Kidney Centers to provide the care and outreach that builds upon that hope. Thank you for listening today and for being such generous supporters of our good work. And now, let's learn more about the diabetes-kidney disease connection. <laughs>